next video here is going to go over goaltender with a snapshot. Nice, simple, few different little things. If you haven't done so already, watch the video on wrist shot. It's got a few little tips that I may or may not recap here. So as a goalie with a snapshot, first thing I want to do is make sure my top hand has my butt end well with inside it. I'm not down below it. I want my top hand over top of it. My top hand controls all the dollar stick hands and everything. So we've got to be able to move it around well without getting caught on this butt end against our block and stuff like that. So first tip is that. Next tip is this forearm bone, this Y, I want to run down my back face here. So my toes tipped over on my stick. So when I shoot, I get a little pop over. Okay? So then my top hand position should look like this. Right here. My stick stays tucked over. So I can get a little pop. Nice quick shot. So the snapshot, there's not much weight transfer, but as a goalie, we don't often do off foot. We'll do double foot for this top hand forward shot. Sometimes you can. It just depends on the situation. So we want to make sure that we have good puck position, slightly out in front of us when we're going to shoot. Glove hand, we'll go turco grip because I love it so much. I don't see the point in learning the other way at all. This gives me so much more control and everything. I'm nice and low, my gloves are slightly apart. I'm not right together and I'm not way down here. Too far apart. Just slightly apart. Because of my top hand position, you can see my stick position's already angled a bit. Pucks out in front of my feet just slightly so I can get a little flex before I make contact with that puck. My head goes up to my target. And I'm going to push my hands out. Blocker hand goes to my target. Glove hand's going to drive 45 into the ice, get some flex. And just pop it out. So, there I am. Flexing. Again, a little bit slow mo here. Flexing. As soon as I flex it, because my top hand has this position, when I flex it, it twists my stick. My hand wants to go up. So, when I release it, this arm will pull back. So it gives me my pop in this. In a player stick, they can put it toe down more, and the blade and the lower shaft will do that. In a goalie stick, it doesn't want to do it as much, so this top hand might move a bit, which is okay. But we always want this blocker hand facing the target. So I'm here, I've got it cupped, I hit it, my blocker hand flex. When I come through, I try and return my blocker hand to that position. So we've got on foot. Sticks are super flexible. Let's use them, be happy about it. That's like the blue line with just the pop of my stick. Now I can match So, that's a quick little quick beginner's guide on how to make a little snapshot as a goalie. We're going to do a front foot forward, both feet or off foot. Most of the time as a goalie, it tends to be both feet, so I can reset very quickly and be ready. Alright, hope you enjoy this video, hope you find it useful. Come on down here at Richmond Base Hockey if you ever want some uh, instruction on this. 
Thanks for watching. Say no time to snooze. I hear the hockey night song playing. Score goals, big hits, let's go. Score goals, big hits, let's go all night now. How much do I like the sport of hockey? Very. When I'm working, get the score on my Blackberry. I don't make music, on the contrary. I'm making rock, I'm sock, I'm hits, call Don Cherry. I'm always winning, just call me Trevor Linden. My team is gonna get the cup and that's the only mission now we're